Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. and good morning, dear students of M2, that is Master's Final. I am talking for you. Most welcome to my online video class. This is M.M. Azharul Islam, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Tangi Government College, Gazipur. Uh, I am going to take a class on uh, modern drama that is um, designed under the elms uh, here uh, Eugenie O'Neill has used uh, different uh, kinds of uh, uh, symbolism in his uh, design under the elms so dear students this is today's topic is uh, symbolism in design under the elms used by Eugenie O'Neill in his famous drama design under the elms so dear students please follow me Symbolism in the design under the elms. Eugene O'Neill has made an extensive use of symbols in his play, Design under the elms, so as to cater the implicit meaning of the play. The symbols of mater, maternal and uh, paternal forces are enormous elm, tree, and stone. Uh, while repeatedly, the covered farm house is a, a sickly grey stone color of the house stands for a somber hard puritanism and the um, green of the elms for the vegetative life affirming forces denied in all uh, the cabot house since the death of women's mother the green of the shutter is faded Eugenie O'Neill 1882 1953 so dear students follow me the sky above the roof is covered with deep color the green of the elms glows but the house is in shadow seeming pale and washed out by contrast the most direct human counterpart of the elms we find in Ephraim's two former wives who must indeed have been exhausted women with uh, sagging breasts, whooping tears, uh, which would trickle uh, down monotonously from their sad eyes. This is true especially of the second wife, Evans' mother, whom Ephraim made uh, work to death and uh, whose eyes used to be whooping and bloody with uh, smoke and uh, cinders. It is Eben who tells us this. We know that he hates his father. So, dear students, follow me. The elms, um, which is another vital symbol, seem to signify both the dead woman herself, her original healthy life, and the wrong done to her. It further stands for um, both nature and the thwarting of nature, both her unselfish love and the cavort's lovelessness towards her. Above all, the enormous tree seems to represent their guilt, uh, which has been growing ever since she dies and uh, sucking the blood from the pale house below. Thus the Puritan concern with uh, the past sins leaves the cabot less uh, than living. So dear students, please follow me. Nasser stands as a symbol in the play. Nasser uh, will beat I abysses and uh, this is uh, precisely what happens. It is not so much that even uh, succumbs to abyss uh, or his own sexual desire for it is made quite clear that uh, he does not accept uh, her um, until she has become identified in his mind with the um, mother. Only when he sees Abby not as a um, rival of the mother but as her tool of um, Benji and so on, Ephraim, can he give a free rein to his uh, desire, yet since the mother uh, represents nature gradually thought it by life denying puritanism, 
have his uh, selection of even indicating uh, how Nasser Trump's of her Puritanism is clearly a retributive uh, act. It is in, in this sense um, that Nasser beats him when Abby compares their sexual desire to the growth of the elm tree. It is uh, as natural and powerful. She draws attention to the trees as symbols of Nasser. The Nasser uh, that is uh, suppressed by Cabot as dead woman was suppressed and then therefore has grown enormous and uh, revengeful and soon will burst. So dear students, please follow me. Nasser uh, saddened by Puritanism is another significant symbol of the play. The elms represent uh, above all Nasser and uh, obliquely Nasser thwarted by intimate contact with the Puritanism, the house, all the women in the play, Zenith's long hair as compared to the hair uh, like uh, trailing branches and uh, minis the resemblances uh, to a fruitful art uh, mother and especially the dead women and uh, Abby are um, basically in harmony with Nasser and uh, therefore resemble the elm so although Nasser has uh, been suppressed it cannot uh, remain so far long finally it takes its uh, revenge on its uh, oppressors hence the elms come to represent uh, as broading and uh, ultimately Trump and fate which uh, operates uh, from without uh, through one of the allies of Nasser Abbey and from within through an accumulating guilt demanding atonement. So dear students, please follow me. This stove and the money hidden under it are minor symbols the playwright has used. Under the stove, Ephraim has hidden the money he had hoarded from the farm that by rights belonged to Evan's mother. The mother had discovered the hiding place and told Evan about it. Even a feeling that he, the mother is unable to find peace in the grave and stand by the stove every evening is undoubtedly related to the treasure uh, hidden uh, under meat, underneath it. Uh, psychologically, we may interpret this uh, hallucinatory experiences as if um, uh, reprocess even is painfully even is painfully aware that both the hidden money and the farmer is still frames that he has not uh, revenged the mother so dear students please follow me don't lose your concentration there is symbolic significance of eating and drinking in desert under the elms as uh, everyday occupations as eating, smoking and drinking all have their uh, special uh, um, uh, connotations in O'Neill's play even although he does all the cooking in the house keeps picking at his uh, food without uh, appetite his brother Simeon, Peter and his um, antithesis uh, when and they hear even um, uh, calling that so supper is ready their beast like uh, characteristics are at once uh, revealed Simeon uh, smacks his lips and uh, says he is hungry Peter uh, smells bacon and they both uh, expect uh, to enjoy eating bacon little later we see the two eating as uh, necessarily under understand as we of the uh, field while even glances uh, at them with um, tolerant dislike simon and peter are of the view that um, mew should eat uh, flesh and drink wine and the later get drunk on uh, whiskey uh, while uh, life lasts 
they have the other simple animalistic view of life events desire as his attitude to food indicates is not of this primitive order so dear students O'Neill uses the land itself as a symbol the land stands for wealth uh, many characters are tied to the land and uh, it is uh, their uh, lust for that land who is um, had made their life uh, problematic about uh, married even's mother for the land and uh, we came to the farm because of her lust for it her sexual contact with even can also be explained on the similar grounds so dear students um, i think all of you have understood the symbolic use in uh, design that the elm series used by eugene o'neill eugene o'neill so uh, dear students of master's final you have to understand the gravity definition functions activities of uh, symbols in different uh, dramas uh, literature poems and uh, novels etc if you can uh, use the uh, if you can understand the use of uh, symbols in uh, your uh, dramas um, used by the dramatist in their dramas then you can be able to understand uh, writing answering and uh, getting good jobs so this is all from today i think all of you have understood my speech and benefited by my lecture no more today stay at home stay safe no more today bye thank you assalamu alaikum